age of Declaration of Independence signers. The ages of the signers of the Declaration of Independence are shown. Age is approximate since only the birth year appeared in the source and one has been omitted since his birth year is unknown. Construct a grouped frequency distribution, a cumulative frequency distribution for the data using seven classes. We're also going to do a relative frequency and a cumulative relative frequency. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is I'm going to rewrite the data on here so we can write on it, not write in the book. Um, now, we need to find a class width. So our first thing we want to calculate is the class width. Okay, and this problem wanted seven classes. We'll talk about that in a second. First way to do a class width is just pick it to be whatever you want it to be. Like for uh, grades, I might pick 10 because I would want to go from 60 to 69, 70 to 79 because that represents D's and Z's and B's and so on. So one way to do it is just pick it yourself. Another way is to be a little bit more precise. So what we want to do is we want to find two numbers in our list of numbers here. This, the max and the min. What is the largest one and what is the smallest one? Well, when you go through it, um, your largest one is 70 and the smallest one is 27. And I think there's actually two of them. And there is. But we only, we only want to know whatever the smallest one is. So the max is 70 and the smallest is 27. Let's calculate the range. That's just subtract the two of them. Easy enough, right? 70 minus 27. Now, that's how wide the data is. So our data goes 43 units wide. Let's now divide it by 7 and see what we get. So let's take 43 divided by 7. And this is approximately 6.1. Alright, so we can make our class with six or we can make it seven let's go with seven so we're going to make the class width seven it's common to use an odd one and that comes up later when we want to do things with group data and then the middle data point will be a, uh, an actual data point rather than between two of them 